really like Minneapolis, for example, has like a strong smell. Right. So, I think it's like over a decade after decade after decade. Mm-hmm. And like North Dakota really hasn't seen that culture shock quite. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we don't get a lot of it. Oh, I don't. Okay. We don't get a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is actually pretty nifty. Here too. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I, I think that's why Minnesota and North Dakota differ so much because we, we haven't seen so much ethnic diversity. But in Minnesota, the uh, like my family is mostly Norwegian. Yeah. The Norwegians are all liberals over there, though. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, See, yeah, my, my whole family are hardcore it. liberals. I don't get it, yeah. Because in North Dakota, typically, especially in my not conservative. Very, very yeah. conservative. Well, then it's all military, though. Yeah. Right? See, Grand Forks, you got the military. Military, side. yep. And that plays a big role because so. for, like, my dad's my dad's like, <coughs> a military vet. He, you know, he's just stuck on the idea that the Republican Party always helps the military. Mm-hmm. Maybe it did when he was an op or when he was serving, but like I, I, I really don't know the the, in, the ins and outs of that. But like he, I don't know. It's always red, always gonna. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why I, when I voted for Stein, I was like, well, she ain't gonna. Like, tr- tr- Donald Trump's gonna win North Dakota regardless of my vote. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean, it's, Hillary's not gonna win. Yeah. No chance. Well, see, I thought. Because um, I'm an Oregon resident right now. Oh, okay. I thought out in Oregon, the Green Party might even have a chance. We had five Greens on our ballot. Seriously? Like, I not only voted for Jill, but for Senate, for federal Senate and, oh. and House, I got to vote Green. Plus for state treasurer and secretary and number. Even the small, like, office. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I had, like, five Greens, plus some other progressives and this, that, and the other. Really? And I thought in Oregon, especially this, at the, I thought they had a chance. But no, they still didn't, not this time. That's, but, that's interesting. Because, yeah, yeah. like, here, all we had was, like, we had mostly Democrat, Republican, and a few, the few libertarians that were, like, on, like, the, the governor or, like, the House representatives. Even, like, mm-hmm. even like the lo- there were a few local libertarians, but not, like, a lot. Right. I'm kind of surprised there was there were green ones in Oregon. That's 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 cool to see because I, I I voted for Jill Stein for the sole purpose that like I want to see a third and fourth option. Can Me, I ask you why you came out to uh, this area? Why I came out to this area? Yeah. Um, well, I've I've um, been opposed to uh, pipelines and transmission lines a long time. Ever since I was living in Wisconsin, we had issues with the first the power line companies coming through and putting in the high voltage transmission so how lines. Long ago was this and we've never beat them. Um, this is pushing 20 years okay. ago now. Okay. Um, and uh, you know, I have an uncle up there. He has a pipeline and a transmission line, both running through his property, and he had no say. They both mm. went through. Domain, and right? and then it was the same thing up there, where uh, they they were going through the uh, the Lacoudre tribe, uh, the reservation up there in northern okay. Wisconsin, through pristine wilderness area, the Brule River, and everything up there. And we weren't able to stop that one. It all it, it all went through. And um, here, I would have been out here even sooner, except I was like, well, am I going to be just a hindrance? They really need me. And then I saw the call for volunteers. And, um, it, and of course, the, the desecration of the, 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 the sacred, the yeah, burial grounds yeah. and stuff. And that was really the final straw for me, whereas I'm like, no, they want people and they're doing this and I'm, I'm going. Mm-hmm. What did you have to give up to come here? Like, what part of society were you before you came here? Um, well, I'm, I'm self-employed. After dropping out, I've, I've started... What, five different businesses because nice. I kind of get bored. <laughs> yeah, what do you, <laughs> you know, never what, run them for a while. What do you do? Like, do you like a... um, right now, we actually um, my my wife and I just kind of closed up. We were doing um, uh, we were importing a maca root from South America from oh. a, from a women's co-op, and really? we were kind of wholesaling it uh, for a nutritional supplement okay. and for granola bar type type use. Really? Okay. Yeah, and um, entre- entrepreneurial stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. Nice. Um, but I just we're closing that up, um, so I'm I'm actually in between right now, and this is that this is part of my scouting mission. Um, I'm going to start a nonprofit um, to support long-term protests and strikes because I believe that's what we need to do at this yeah, point. Power uh, we don't have the we don't have the voice in in politics and in the yeah. elections. Um, I've been voting green since Nader. And I was really excited this time because now all these millennials that are finally coming of age, you guys, yeah. you're all voting liberal, yeah. progressive. Definitely. You know, like, Definitely. you know, you're, you're, you're with me. The Democrats are way too, mm-hmm. they're moderate Republicans now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, like, and, like I, I was a big Bernie fan and, like, I, I was like, he only joined the Democratic side because he's smart and he realized mm-hmm. you, you can't yeah. win, unless, you know, like. And I, I feel like people our age now really got enthusiastic about it now, and like mm-hmm. and we're gonna go more progressive route. We're gonna go more mm-hmm. like I'm not. I'm really not into the whole party thing. I'm more I, if I if I if I was a politician, I'd be like an independent. You right. know what I mean? Like, but I yeah. but my mindset is progressive, and it's it's it's, it's for civil rights, and it's for yeah. you know, it's like for things that just seem simple to me. But like for some reason, it, it doesn't happen that way. 
You, right. know, you know what I mean? Maybe it's that's like my my young age. That, you know, I, I just don't. I haven't seen anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I just, I just don't. I, I, I don't get how we as a country voted conservative. This this this. You know. You know. We well, we. I think a lot of people voted out of spite. Yeah. And I think a lot of people that voted for Trump didn't mean to elect him. Exactly. I think it's kind of what happened in Minnesota years back with Ventura. And everybody's like, no, I'm sick of the system. I'm yeah. just voting, you know, and it was a spite vote. You and know, it's not going to matter. You know, won. Hillary's going to win anyway. She has this thing sealed. I'm going to vote for Trump out of spite. Yeah. And so many people did that because angry people are unpredictable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a populist movement, basically. And, like, yeah. that's why I, th- I was like, if it was Bernie Trump, we probably would have saw record oh, turnout. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. It would have been like the, uh, been like the uh, Reagan uh, Mondale race of 84, <laughs> except it would have been Bernie flipping every single state. Yeah. <laughs> except I, for maybe, you know, the Alabamas. Exactly. And the Mississippis and whatnot. Exactly. So, like with all of the like the modern uh, like issues and like uh, like current standings in, in the politics. Mm. Um, like, what does it mean to be quiet at a time like this? What does it mean to be quiet? Like, at like, a time um, like, like, this? like, like for people who choose to kind of s- stay on the sidelines and like, like, do you think that? we as a people and as a society have like a duty to stand up for something like, like like do you think it's our obligation or do you think like i i feel i'm personally here out of duty so i think that answers your question yeah, i yeah. had the ability to come you know we have to stop this yeah. so i would say yes i do think it's our duty at this point because we saw we don't have a voice in politics yeah. um we can't just sit back and watch this. You know, is Trump going to be the Hitler everybody's saying he is? I don't know, but yeah. he might be Reagan too and ruin the economy yeah. and completely libertarian, you know, everything. I kinda, I, <laughs> ruin our health, the health care we do have in place, which I'm not a huge fan of Obamacare because yeah. it, I hate the insurance companies. And, you know, now they're mandating we buy insurance Definitely. and that's not the way to do health care. No. But no. it's better than nothing, you know, for a lot of people and it, dismantling it isn't the way to go not when he's not going to replace it with something uh-huh. better single payer so um like with your history of kind of like protesting these kind of environmental damages like do you see this one as kind of like a how do you see this one compared to the other ones you've, you've been to i i see it uh, it has a lot more popularity a lot more turnout a lot more people gathered in one place yeah. um and uh, going back to uh, to trump for a minute um, I, I know maybe about half a dozen or so Trump supporters, IRL, you know, yeah. all of them are against this pipeline. Yeah. You know, so this is a unifying cause it's, right it's here. Not, it's not just the left. Or the, like, it's not just it, like one set. No, it's this kinda, is really an us against them. Yeah. And I think that is, I think that's huge. And I hope it's the beginning, especially if we get a victory here, which we, we deserve a victory. Yeah. We, we haven't had any of these victories for the environment. Exactly. And then you start throwing in other things. I mean, we just lost big time in politics. And yeah. We deserve a victory. And I think if we get it, I hope that empowers the people to even take more action. Yeah. Um, and like I said, the uh, you know the the uh, nonprofit that I that I'm I'm hoping to get uh-huh. up and running, hopefully by next next year, um, is its purpose is to sustain long term yeah. uh, protests and strikes. To you know, because I think the labor the people that are... basically to, to to bring in food, medical supplies, and emergency radio communication at the drop of a dime, have it already in place. So all of a sudden, oh, these a strike just breaks out, a protest just breaks They're out. Supplied. within a day or two. You know, 48 hours or so, we can be any place in the country and yeah. at least get some food out. Have you know some some first aid people, EMT type yeah. people on standby. Wow. Cause that's what we um, need. That, you know, I, I I personally even to, to start it out, I you know I know how to cook. I'm an amateur radio operator and I was a combat medic. You know, so yeah, yeah. Um, you can do three things. I, right there, you know, yeah. I can do all of those things. Essentials. You know, so I can certainly you know. Hopefully it will take off. Um, out west, you know, I'm, I'm on the west coast yeah, right now. You know, you're in Oregon there, right now? There's a lot. To, yeah, I'm in Oregon right now. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of liberal, uh, liberal, progressive money out there. Really? Yeah. There, there, there are a lot of. Are they, uh, there are millionaires and you investing know investing in like solar energy or like. Kind of, well, they, they are. Yeah. 